Here is Lily, my owner, talking. Um, now I want to show you a little bit about the app that comes with the vacuum. It helps you to control a vacuum and also has some cool functions. One really cool function is that if you click here on Zone Cleanup, you can choose this cleaning frame and then place it somewhere on the map of your home so that the vacuum only clean one single room or a special area that you want to be cleaned. On the other side, you can also choose an area that your vacuum should avoid by cleaning. For this, you click on Edit Map, and then you choose, for example, No Go Zone, and um, yeah, you can draw a frame and place it somewhere on the map. Or you can also um, use the barrier type to draw a line. What I also really like to use is the timer function. You can set days and time when you want your house to be clean. And um, yeah, I think it's really useful because the cleaning happens automatically. If you have carpets at home like I do, you can turn on carpet mode. Then the vacuum can automatically identify your carpet and switch to a higher suction power for cleaning. And once it has left the carpet, it will return to its old power. So all in all, I'm very happy with the Roborock S5. I tested it for one week before I filmed this video and it works so good. I really like the mop function that it can vacuum and cleans the floor at the same time. Like how amazing is that? I think I haven't seen this function on any other robot vacuum so far. Um, yeah, I will put the link of the vacuum in the description box if you want to check it out and I can definitely recommend it to pet owners who struggle with fur all over the house or just any other people who don't want to vacuum and clean the floor by themselves. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!